it's me still the bean and welcome back to some more feed the beast revelation yes we are back here on the server and today we are joined by i don't think anybody's on no, nobody's on uh, but guys if you are still enjoying this series then please do stomp on that like button for me also if you're new to the channel then why not subscribe for daily minecraft videos it is minecraft at the moment so i'll say that uh but yeah uh please do that and that would be really 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 cool and um yeah uh, i would really enjoy that and uh, if you want to come join this server or the next one that we're about to start up then uh then head on over to patreon link is in the description down below and also if you want to support me you know if you want to help me out um to help get better equipment things like that then uh head on over to patreon that would be fantastic right let's get on with today's video lots to do lots to do guys we are going into space this is happening today um i have have done an awful lot of research uh, my meat thing has run out so let's go and put this in the fluid fluid transposer transposer uh, there we go give me meats please um, yeah yeah we're going into space I've, I've actually worked out that I can get there um, but for some reason I don't know why the moon must be disabled or something like that I'm not sure also my gooey scale is completely different um, hopefully you're able to live with the way that that looks at the moment just for this uh, these few episodes because um, yeah let me explain okay so I have made all the upgrades for my spacesuit so now I can put all of this on and this is why I changed my gooey scale uh, if I have it uh, set to uh, auto, this is massively large. Uh, but I've added all the upgrades that I could. I've put tanks in. I've got the bionic legs, the uh, full damage boots, uh, the uh, the uh, scanner thing, uh, atmospheric analyzer, anti fog visor, beacon finder, and flight speed control upgrade. Flight speed control um, allows you to fly just that little bit faster. That's pretty much all it does. Uh, oh, this is the um, we didn't need this last episode, but this is the uh, observatory at night time. Um, yeah, that is pretty much that. And this is where we're at with everything. So the rocket I've had to change. Uh, just ignore this for a moment. This is all about today, but we'll get there in a moment. Uh, but the rocket I've had to change ever so slightly. I've now added... Uh, it doesn't actually tell you what it is, but this is a satellite bay. And then we have the guidance computer. For some reason, we have two guidance computers. Don't know why, but we do. Everything else is the same. I've just sort of changed those and put those down there. Uh, this is going to be my space station. Yes, I am going to make a space station today and launch the thing into space. And that is where we're going to actually make a start in, in space today. So... Um, there's a few things I need to do. First of all, I need to get that foodie thing because I'm about to die. Uh, yeah, that'll do for now. There we go. That'll, that'll at least feed me for a little bit. Um, so, uh, there's a few machines we're going to need uh, to take with us. I don't like this speed up thing, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to take those off there for now. I can take it out anyway. Uh, so if we type in at add, um, uh, no, it would help if I put A D V A N C advanced rocketry. Uh, there's a few machines that I need to take with me. Um, the first one being uh, is no, not that guy, uh, not the electrolyzer, the CO2 scrubber. I need two of those. Uh, so to make two of those, we're going to uh, have to go through all of this. So we're going to need carbon brick, which we should be able to make. Let's make like a bunch of those. There we go. Um, and it's no problem if we don't have the carbon. It's 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 not a problem. Uh, what are we missing there uh, to make the motor? So we're just the copper coils. Is that all? Let's um, fire a bunch of those in then because, like I say, we need two. Uh, so let's make really steel plates. So let's type in a plate um and steel plates how are we doing for steel plates iron aluminium gold tin no steel no steel whatsoever that's fine uh let's grab a hammer then uh hey uh, 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 uh let's grab you and let's throw you out let's type in steel like so uh we've only got these okay well let's just throw those with those and make me a stack of steel plates because we're going to need them anyway uh so then let's type in co2 scrubber co2 scrubber uh so we need this guy one two of those remember um and then we're going to need two steel fans one two of you and we should have all of those let's just make some of these just in case 
uh, done and then we should be able to make two of these one two done okay so we've got the co2 scrubbers we are going to need carbon c a r b um, co2 why all oh, right okay sorry c a r uh, b uh, we're going to need this the carbon collection cartridge and we're going to need two of these as well so we're going to need some iron sheets which we don't have so if we grab ourselves some i r un uh, let's grab a stack. We should be able to run this through the uh, machine that we've got down there and we can leave that doing its thing while we uh, we move on to the next machine that we're going to need. Uh, so let's go and find, is this still making, oh man, this is still making like the pressure tanks. I've got enough pressure tanks now, thank you. Um, okay, can we get all of these out? Is that is that it? Have you finished now? Thank you. Thank you very much for that. That's very kind of you. Right, uh, if we fire that into there, will it go through? Or do I need to put the plates in? Yeah, no, that's going through. That's going through. And that should make me, right, iron plates, which I can then turn the iron plates into um, other things. While I'm waiting then, let's, let's fill these up uh, with oxygen. I do apolo apologize about the noise. Uh, it's kind of got a bit more noisy down in this space because, well, let's be honest. I've got so many machines running, it's kind of crazy. I could actually do with um, with a sound muffler just to make it a lot quieter, but um, it, it's fine. We're not we're not going to be here much longer. Uh, we will be in the base, but just not um, not around here so much. Uh, so if I take those out, uh, bionic legs, I think, is the thing that makes me run like crazy. Let me check. Um, yeah, that's. I, pretty sure that's what that does anyway let's throw these into here um like so there we go and we'll throw the bionic legs in there and we're going to take the uh space suit adjustment um uh workstation type thing with us as well uh now the good thing about this is is what's going to happen is i've built this down on the ground um so what we're going to do is let's throw this uh we'll put it in the corner over here actually uh we're going to build this on the ground and then we're going to send it up into space how you may wonder well you'll see you'll see and it's it's kind of cool um it's a nifty little thing but let's go over um what am i doing i need these iron plates sorted don't i uh so let's grab those out of there and we'll take you out of there and then we'll throw you well we don't need that many do we let's put like 10 in for now and that can do its thing uh we should start getting yeah these guys the iron sheets and we need it for two of the, um, um, so that's going to get me one. I just need six more. Uh, two of the CO2 scrubbers, I think it was. Uh, C, uh, no, it, it was um, a carbon, carbon collection cartridge, which, yeah, it's going to be six per. So, and I need two of those. Uh, so let's grab those six as well, and then when we can, we'll make some more. But let's go uh, make those collection cartridges now. Uh, just like so. Uh, so if we do this, 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 that should get me the two that I need. Uh, so we have the two of these, the two of those. Then we're going to need an oxygen collector, oxygen collector, uh, oxygen vent. Is it oxygen vent? Hmm. Is it an oxygen vent? I think, I think possibly it's an oxygen vent. So let's just make one of those anyway. Um, and hope that we're doing the right thing here. So let's do that. And then let's make uh, one of those. Is it an oxygen vent? I can't remember. I think it is. I think that's what's going to give me the oxygen. Um, and we also need do, 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 a lever. Uh, L E, uh, there we go. Lever, thank you. Done. Um, I was playing around with those uh, lamps over there just for some sort of lighting inside my space station. Um, I thought they were kind of cool. So uh, let's make our way inside again. Uh, all this is iron block, by the way. It's yeah, why not use the expensive iron block? So uh, let's have our oxygen set up over here. So we're going to need the two CO2 scrubbers. Uh, like so, one there, one there, and then the oxygen vent, which I'm hoping it is what I need, right in the center there, which is going to require power. 
Um, so we'll place that there and we'll do that. And that should give it power. And there we go, one, 1k RF a tick. And then all we have to do is place these inside and it will start scrubbing the air for oxygen when we're in space so that when we seal this room, uh, this is just chiseled glass by the way, when we seal this room, uh, we will be able to breathe up in space without our spacesuit. That's the plan anyway. Um, right, so there's three more machines that I need before we can go to space. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I think that'll be it for today. So um, they are from Advanced Rocketry, as always, Advanced Rocketry. Um, oh, really? <laughs> at Ad advanced rocketry um and they have a specific look this is one of them the altitude controller uh we make that straight off the bat uh and the other two look like that so there's one here and one there so it's a gravity controller and the orientation controller um all we need to do is make one of these there we go that's that done and that will be the orientation controller and then we just need the last one which is the gravity controller um, and that is that. The other thing we're going to need is the steel, uh, the airtight doors, I think they're called. Air, air tight? No, air. Let's, let's type in, um, let's do advanced rocketry. Add advanced uh, rocketry. And then we just need to look for the, uh, the doors, which are not on this page <laughs> oh no there it is small airlock door so we need two of these one and two there we go done um i'm gonna grab some uh iron i think i will grab uh yeah let's grab like three blocks of that and then i want to get some more chisel glass as well um and I, and I want to get some more doors, just in case. Um, huh. Yeah, here they are. Small airlock door. There we go. Let's make um, two, two for now. Two should be fine, just to start off, because we're going to have to do some building when we're up there. Um, and then we're going to need a couple of levers or pressure plates. Let's see what we've got in terms of pressure plates. Um, let's do, let's make some gold ones because, well, it just looks kind of cool. And um, six will do. And then let's get some more levers. Then we'll grab those three. That'll be fine. Okay, so it is time. <laughs> To try and go to space. Uh, there's one more thing I need. And that is a uh, ID chip. It's called. Now. I'm not sure if I've got one in my. Um, in my system. So let's do. Uh, at advance. Uh, it's the planet ID chip. No but we'll take a planet ID chip. Just in case. And we need this guy. This No, not this guy. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Asteroid Space Station ID chip, which is a basic circuit and a linker. Um, pretty easy to make. Uh, what can we throw in? Yeah, we don't need those iron plates now, do we? No, that's it. Cool. Right. So, um, and that's just so we've got a bit of space in our inventory. Throw that in there as well, because we don't really need that now. Uh, so let's head over to here. And we can finally start getting somewhere with this space station. So, um, we need to put down our machines. Now, where are we going to have, like, the, the, the control helm thing? I think right here is perfect. So, we'll put the gravity controller here. Um, we'll put the orientation controller here. And then we shall put the altitude controller just there. Is that level? One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, so the last thing to do then is literally, uh, I had to make this the space station uh, satellite builder. Uh, I'm going to put that in there for now. Uh, so the last thing to do is literally, um, like we did with the rocket, this is the space station assembler. Uh, we click on this and you must add in a satellite bay. Now a satellite bay is really... Uh, 
um, easy to make. It's this guy here um, with just some titanium rods um, and, and a machine structure. Uh, you put that in there with a space station ID chip and we click scan. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I thought, I've already scanned it already to make sure it was okay. Um, now, the reason it's scanning, and you must make sure that you have, once again, these structure towers. They, they go all the way to the ceiling where everything is. And this is just going to go along. It's going to scan everything. It's going to say, okay, so you've got this, you've got that, you've got that. Now, I'm not sure whether that's going to stay in place. I'm not sure. We'll find out when we get up there. But I've got spares on me just in case. Um, but let's just let this scan down now. And it will tell me in a moment whether it's a valid structure or not. Hopefully, that is ready to go. Uh, the server's going to already restart. Right, this is still scanning. So we need to wait for this. Um, so what I'll do is I will let the server restart. And um, I'll come back to you when this is done. Right, okay. So this is ready to go. Sorry about that. Right, let's build. So all we do is we hit build. And then obviously this working sign goes like so. And uh, it needs to go through and make the space station. I realize this is off-center. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem. Uh, something I do need to mention is these need to be made on the uh, the same stuff here, the uh, the, the concrete. Um, yeah, you have to do that on there. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Um, and the maximum size can be 16 by 16. So this one's, uh, I think, it's 15 by 15. I could have gone a little bit wider, but I wanted a little walkway around. Um, and that's the reason I did it that way, because this room isn't just quite wide enough. Uh, but this should be built, and when it is finally built, um, this will disappear. We just have to wait for it to complete what it's doing. Um, it's almost there. It's almost there. This will disappear. And what happens is it gets packed up, and it gets placed inside that satellite bay type thing that we had earlier. Is it going to do it? Is it, is it going to? Is it going to do it? Right, we're almost there. There you go, it's gone. Right, so now uh, the space station container has my space station inside of it, and then we have the space station ID chip number two. Now, the reason I said I needed to make a secondary one is because this is my only way to get to that space station, so what I would like to do is copy it. Um, and I can do that by clicking this, and it will write to a secondary chip. That's what the satellite builder can do for you. You can copy chips. Now, this one here, if I leave that there, um, that's just a copy of that. So if I ever lose this one, I can always get back to my space station and I can make a copy. Right, so finally, um, all we need to do is take... Oh, no, 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 I needed to shift click. All we need to do is take our um, rocket and click on our satellite bay and then we place in there our space station container. Then we go to the guidance computer. Now, this is where I'm a bit unsure. But I'm pretty sure we click on this and then we put in the space station ID chip number two. Then, after getting inside, destination station two. So we can actually go somewhere. If we look on the left hand side of the screen, we can see that we've got fuel um, and, and all of that business. And if we press F5 now, <laughs> that's weird, uh, we can press spacebar and we can actually launch. This is fantastic. We are going to space finally. Now, a thing to note is I am not wearing all of my gear. So I do really need to put this on. Like, just so when we do get to space, I don't actually die. The the, the thing's really weird here. Look at this. Uh, but look, <laughs> look at this. This is cool. This is so cool. I, I could have made this a bit shorter, I suppose. But I wouldn't have been allowed as many rockets. And I want as many rockets as I can make. Yay. Um, so as you can see... Our altitude is increasing, and we are slowly uh, ascending into space. I'm very happy about this. I can't even see my... Oh, there's my base. Bye, base. Bye, everybody on this planet. Um, I will be back, but not for long, because I am now living in space. That is what's going to happen. I am moving into space. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely need to be doing that. Um, is that, can I zoom out? No, I can't. I can just access my hotbar and things like that. That's fine. Uh, so here we go. This is us heading into space. Our velocity is terminal velocity of what the rockets can do. Now it's literally just a case of um, hitting the maximum altitude. I might make a better rocket next time because this one really sucks. <laughs> I think if I just got rid of one stack, I'll be all right. I would be all right. Um, but yeah, that's all we can see anyway. So... Um, 
We should should still just about see yeah there's, there's stuff down there so here we go um i'll come back to you when we're actually ready to start landing right here we go this is it we are in space uh as you can see my um my things tell me uh that we are in a vacuum and uh it's non-breathable uh it's also telling me i don't have a lot of fuel but i'm going to start descending now now because we flew up into space that means that um, we carried up a space station with us. Now, this automatically places that space station. And hopefully, uh, if I press F1, we should actually see that space station come into the window right at the bottom of uh, our screen here. It doesn't actually physically come up here and build it. It literally, you start to come down and look, there you go. You can see my space station. Now, every time... Uh, you go to land, you always land on top. Um, so we are just coming down on top. And um, yeah, once we've landed, I can then get out and we can actually start using our stuff. It's really cool. It is so cool. I can't wait to um, expand this space station. And I think I'm the second person on the server to actually go into space. So that's pretty cool. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to take off. No! Oh man, that's terrible. That is terrible. Oh well. Um, well, I, I, I can always get back. It's not a problem. But that that rocket is now headed home. It's no problem. Don't worry about it. I mean, I have to derp. It's just how it is. But as you can see, um, this is the space station that we built um, on the overworld. And it is now up here, all sorted. Uh, you can see the uh, CO2 scrubber and all that lot is still intact. All of these controllers are intact. And also, my oak chest, excuse me, well, my oak chest with absolutely everything inside is still there. Right, so it is now time to get to work because right now, uh, if I was to take my helmet off, uh, you can see that I'm going to start taking damage. And we do not want that to happen. That is something that is bad. Uh, so what we need to do is start building like some airlocks. And uh, we can do that like so. All we've got to do is this. Uh, we'll do that, 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 that. Um, let's not put one there. How do the blocks react in the overworld? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, not in the overworld, in space, right? And then all we need to do is do this, this, this. And then, um, hmm, let's put some, some glass. Is that normal glass or chiseled glass? That's normal glass. I want the chiseled variant. Um, did I not put chiseled in? <gasps> did I bring my chisel? Yes, I did. Oh, that's okay. Uh, where's my chest? Where's my chest? Yeah, I just put normal glass in. That's not a problem. Uh, we'll use chiseled. There we go. Uh, like so. That's this stuff. There we go. Uh, yeah, that should be cool. That should be cool. And then uh, look at the earth, man. Look at the earth. It's so cool. It is so cool. Uh, and look at the way things just like get to float around up here. Uh, so we'll place that like, like that. And then if we grab our unbreakable wand, we should be able to extend this out a little bit further. Oh, I thought that was going to... I was going to do that in there. Uh, like so, I feel like that's probably enough for now. And then we'll do the same along here. There we go. And then all we've got to do is fix the glass. Oh, the glass all comes along. Perfect. Um, and then we'll we'll just we'll add one more layer on for the door now. Like so. And then like so. Uh, now that should all be sealed up. Yeah, that's all sealed up. And then what we can do is we can take our um, airlock door and just place that on the outside here, like so. And then we can put this here and this here. Uh, let's actually make it like that. And then if we want to get in, uh, all we've got to do is put down our gold pressure plate because we're rich. And there we go, we can get in and that closes. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is we put a pressure plate here and another door here. And now this is a sealed area. Um, then all we've got to do is repeat this on this side. So uh, let me get to building once more like this. I can't believe I sent my rocket into space uh, back to Earth without me. I mean, hopefully this is the same as... Um, Hey, come to me. That's expensive stuff to be wasting. Hopefully this is the same as Galactocraft. 
But if not, it's no problem because, um, yeah, wh when I say mean it's the same as Galacticraft, I mean like you can jump off and land back in Earth. I don't know whether that's a thing. Uh, how many did we go out here anyway? Let's just uh, check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, nine blocks out. Uh, so we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I did the uh, the last two like this. Like so. Perfect. With the um, pressure plate just there. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, yep, yeah, that's correct. And then like so. With the block here, here. And then we've just got to replace all this glass. So it is all sealed up. Ah. ah. Whoops. There we go. Get rid of that. <laughs> and we'll put that there. And then this guy here. There we go. That's open. We can go back in now. Uh, we'll put that. Go yeah, that's right. And then we'll put the pressure plate just there. And then this is now a sealed room. So all I have to do is go over to here. Um, and hopefully if I've got the right machine, just turn that on. And it will tell you in the bottom left hand corner that the air is now breathable. Look at that. I can breathe inside space because of these guys. Now these things do have a durability and you do have to change them out. And they're not too expensive. I mean you saw they were just some steel things. And um, uh, sorry not steel. They were iron plates uh, which were the variant of a plate. And then they were the iron bars as well. I could make a ton of those no problem really really easy but it means i can breathe up in space now now these things are kind of cool right now my gravity is like this you can see i can jump pretty high right but this guy this guy is fantastic if we take this and put the gravity all the way up there while we're waiting for the gravity let's look at the orientation controller this one is fantastic if i send that all the way there and this all the way there watch the spin on the world how cool is this? I mean, it's a bit glitchy, but I mean, that's that's how it is uh, outside. Now, uh, we've got the altitude controller. I can send us away from the Earth. I can make us higher up in the Earth. Now, this might make some people dizzy. Um, for me, it's kind of cool, and I like it, and I want it to keep doing that. Um, how cool is that? It's probably a little bit on the overkill side, so let's maybe bring that in just a little bit there and a little bit here let's let's just try and i want it to do the spin but i don't want it to do it where it's so crazy but also when you turn away from the moon look at how it gets dark here it's crazy right it's crazy look at this this is amazing this is fantastic um but yeah just to prove a point that um uh you can do all that sort of stuff um yeah, I just wanted to show you. Uh, we have way too much oxygen, but never mind. Uh, that's all cool. So, guys, that is pretty much it for today, I'm afraid. Um, ah, that there there lies a problem, isn't there? I need I need a few more of these down. There we go. Let's let's make our way through here, and there we go. We can make our way through here, and uh, if we go into space, we can actually see ourselves rotating with the space station. And you can actually see the light changes as we as we face up towards, I think that's the sun. You'll see the light change on this. I mean, how cool is this mod to be able to do that? I, I think I need to change the rotation a little bit. But there you go, look. You can see the light coming in now. That is so cool. Um, and there's there's a limitation on the, the size you can do the base. Let's just bring this in a little bit more. So maybe it doesn't rotate as fast. It might do it a bit more smoothly. Maybe it's got to slow down anyway. Um, but gravity, st still pretty bad. I mean, I could jump pretty high. Uh, but eventually, that gravity is going to go down to the maximum. And I should be able to just jump like normal Minecraft. Although, uh, because I've got my Sojourner's Sash on me, um, that's probably making me jump a little bit higher. But this is actually normal Minecraft. Um, gravity but if i go out here it should be should be a little bit oh it's probably because i'm so close but the further away i go uh the better it'll be but yeah there we go this is um this is my space station hopefully uh hopefully you like it um yeah i'm gonna 
I'm going to leave it there for today. If you did enjoy, please do stomp on that like button. What I'll do is I'll add to this base. I'll make it a lot bigger. Um, I'll, I think I'll add a landing pad. I might slow down this rotation a little bit because I feel like I'm going a bit dizzy. Um, but yeah, um, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you did enjoy, uh, please do stomp on that like button for me. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, then why not subscribe for daily videos? Please do tell all your friends about the channel and do all that great stuff because it really does help out a lot. But thank you so much for watching. I've been Stomp the Bean. This has been Feed the Beast Revelation. And I shall see you in the next episode.